not too long ago I was in a really dark place and I'm not saying this to be negative but whenever I reflect and I think back to six months ago or a year ago and I just think how different my life was back then I always feel a little bit shocked almost by how different things are now versus how it was back then and by how fast life can really change and when I think back to being in that dark place and it was just this feeling of hopelessness like a feeling like how could I change things how can I make it so that I can change all of these things that I don't like about current life and current reality and feeling like to go from that place to a place where I felt happy and content it felt like such a big leap and such a big jump that it caused feelings of hopelessness so today's video is all about how to change your reality and get you to a place where you're feeling happier and calmer and just more at peace because having experienced it and having that in my life right now I feel so grateful and I want to be able to help anyone who is going through that situation that I was going through so when I think back to that space and that time the mental space that I was in it was negative because I was really focused on certain things on specific things and I would sort of place all of my joy and happiness on these things you know I would feel like well I can't feel happy and I can't feel joyous and grateful until I achieve x y and z but when you place your happiness and your self-worth on certain things like material things or like I don't know for some people it can be like how much money they have or like their relationship status or just material items that they can own and possess when you do that there's a certain kind of delusion that's going on and I talk on this channel about how sometimes delusion can be a currency and it can actually serve you greatly but there is a there's another type of delusion that can actually be quite damaging to you my favorite one is the delusion about who you'll be once you have something that you want to manifest so when I was younger I would want to manifest like weight loss changes in my physical appearance and I would think that if I had lost weight then my whole life would change and when I did lose weight <laughs> I realized that my life did change but only in the areas that related to weight loss so you know I could wear clothes that made me feel cuter or whatever <laughs> and I you know when I look in the mirror I felt more confident sure but I would have these delusions about how I would be really good at running if I lost weight because in my mind I was like oh well if I'm lighter then it'll be super easy to run and I'll be really fast and good at running but that was a delusion <laughs> because I still hated running once I lost the weight and I was still just terribly slow and I should have known because running and like endurance doesn't necessarily be directly correlated with weight like there are people who are bigger who are faster and then there are people who are smaller who are just slow <laughs> so I should have realized and understood but I didn't so these are the kind of delusions that I'm talking about so if you think that once you have I don't know like maybe some bag that you want maybe your dream car maybe your soulmate well, if you think that once you have that thing maybe like the perfect career or whatever you're trying to manifest maybe a certain amount of money in the bank if you think that achieving those goals and getting those things means that you're gonna get your dream life means that you're gonna be just perfectly happy then that is a type of delusion that can be damaging like my friend always says well if you're rich it's really easy to lose weight you can get a personal chef and you can get a personal trainer and it would be so easy to be like really healthy and skinny <laughs> if you were rich but again that's that's another type of delusion because sure your personal chef can make you healthy foods but your personal chef can also make you like really extremely delicious unhealthy fattening foods as well and if it was true that it was super easy to be thin if you were rich then why are there people out there who are wealthy and not skinny and you can apply this to your life and your situation so if you get your dream car your dream person your dream job x amount of money that you can have and possess it's only going to change the things that's directly related to it it's not going to change everything 
getting all of those things doesn't mean that your life will be like perfect and you'll be happy and grateful and joyous all of the time because you're still human and one thing that's very natural with human nature is we're very good at wanting more once you get the car, once you get the person, once you get the amount of money, the job you're gonna want something else, you're gonna want more so it doesn't work kind of, kind of trying to chase it and then be happy, you have to reverse it and be happy and grateful allow yourself to feel feelings of happiness and joy and gratitude right now in your current situation and this can be difficult if you're finding yourself in a dark space like i was it's difficult to feel like you're really unhappy and miserable in your current situation and then to have somebody say oh you have to find joy in this shitty situation it's not an easy thing for people to do and even people who have practiced this for quite some time can still struggle with it from time to time so one thing that really helps is instead of trying to feel feelings that you just can't what you can do is try to find like the fun and try to find something just childlike find that childlike energy and just try to have fun you think back to when you were a kid or if you ever see like puppies or even like young animals i see these little like sheeps <laughs> on my way home sometimes i don't know they, they're they're called working sheeps and they're they're working they're like grazing a plot of land and you're not supposed to touch them but you're allowed to go up and watch them and the little ones are always like jumping around galloping and playing and just having a great time so think back to when you were a child and just kind of that energy of just always wanting to have fun and that's all you cared about try to find a little bit of fun in your daily life try to find a little bit of joy and a little bit of just goofiness in your daily life it helps if there's someone in your life who is fun to be around or is funny i remember when i was in my like little dark space when i was feeling really down i would have like this one coworker who she would always make me laugh like she, i just thought she was really funny so if she was ever scheduled, I would always like try to seek her out and try to hang out with her for a little bit and we would just have a great time just laughing and being silly so even if the situation isn't great you can still try and carve out little moments of joy little moments of fun and that is going to really help you sit in a more positive vibration it's going to allow you to kind of emulate the feelings that you want and amplify the feelings that you want to attract which is going to help you get out of your negative situation and attract the things that you're trying to bring in amplify energy it's kind of like the domino effect and the best way i can explain this is when you're having when you wake up late and, and everything starts to go wrong like your coffee doesn't taste great and you're just you're running behind there's weird traffic there's you're like stuck at some stoplight forever and things just go from bad to worse really quickly <laughs> it's kind of like that and what you're really doing is you're trying to use that kind of momentum but in your favor so you're trying to use little things little fun moments little bits of joy in your life and you're trying to kind of live in it so that you can amplify those feelings and then manifest the bigger things that you're trying to bring in and this works especially well because people always say you don't manifest what you want you manifest what you are so if you're sort of embodying the feelings that you're trying to have in this dream life scenario and you're really embodying it and allowing yourself to be this version of you who finds joy and fun and gratitude in your daily life and that's going to allow you to get to a place where your life is a lot more calm and a lot more peaceful and you're feeling a lot more satisfied with life but it actually doesn't happen in the way that most people think it doesn't happen once you get like x y and z you actually have to practice at it because so many people will get the things that they've been trying to manifest like the car or whatever the material items and then they'll be all like surprised and confused because they don't feel how they thought they would and this is especially true for things like career, money, manifesting your significant other you get to the things that you want and you get to the things that you've been trying to bring in 
and it just doesn't feel as satisfying and as fulfilling as you thought that it would because that is actually a practice allowing yourself to enjoy life allowing yourself to be happy is its own sort of practice <laughs> and you kind of have to work on it it doesn't just happen overnight or naturally it actually is a practice okay that's it for today's little video i hope that you found value in this if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe share this with someone who might also find it to be impactful and i will see you next time bye